from a place we're not allowed to reveal. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Yes! That's awesome! And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. I got our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 500 Tom. 1 800 500 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Yes, the economy is lousy. What does that mean for you? No commitments. Don't make commitments you can't keep. Don't make commitments you don't want to keep. No wives, no live in girlfriends, no children. No baby mamas. No co-signing anybody's loans. No lending money to chicks. It's time to circle the wagons, boys. Hunker down. Save. Prepare. Invest. Don't let chicks cut their rent by moving in with you. That's going to be a bad deal for you. No matter how good it sounds now, I'm going to get laid every night and she's going to help me pay the rent. Trust me. That's what they tell you before they move in. Pretty soon, you. That's right, Bunko. You. will be paying most of the bills. Hers and yours. No commitments from you. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's one 800 Five eight hundred eight six six. Mark on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how are you, bro? Great. You know what? I'm really glad to hear that. I have been a long time listener, and I can't believe the douchebags that call into your show. There are many. Some of these guys have no clue as to what their life is all about. What is going on with these guys? I agree with you. I mean, what's your point on that? Uh, how do you how, how do you uh, how do you explain to these guys that you know there's more to life than the p word? Well, I, I I'm trying to explain it to them, but here's the thing: the p word is very important, no doubt about it. But the problem is, guys have gotten this idea that the p word is something they need to pay for. Oh, you got to bow down to that. Yeah, that's right. You don't have to do that. Well, that's what my point is. Listen, Tom, I'm, I'm 47. I live in Reno, Nevada, and my life is perfect. Got divorced in 2000. Unfortunately, mom died, but now I'm in control of the family. I got two kids. One's 18. Excuse me. Uh, I have a 15 year old and a 22 year old. And my 22 year old has the bangingest girlfriends coming over to the house all the time and we listen to your show constantly that one-on-one is the fantastic thing right there thank you well i believe you know that uh, it is what it is and uh, what's up with the condoms why don't you wear a condom you know why are you bound down to the pressure of the woman and why are you a dad at 18 right i just don't get it you know i have one rule at my house it's to live your life every day to the best that you can, and when we go out on our boat on the weekend, no fat chicks and bikinis only. Yeah. All right. You know, and I got one more thing to say to you, Tom. You are the man. I got to tell you, if I had you when I was 18 years old, and we're almost the same age, I think my life would be totally different in the way that I approached women when I was younger. Yeah. But these guys got to get a handle for crying out loud. No doubt about it. You know, the economy sucks for those that have no education or desire. And now I'm going to leave it at that. Can you blow me up, take me out with a bong hit? You know I can. Here you go. You are the... Oh! (coughs) 
We got nailed by the bong hit. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Bruno on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Great. I've been listening to you, and yeah, there are some items I really don't agree, but you know, you do make your point all the time, like always. Uh, I did have one question for you, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what? Uh, two years ago, I got a. I, you know, I've been married for the past uh, twelve years. You know, it, I've been so happy. Uh, you couldn't have gotten a better girl, and uh, we actually planned our kid. We didn't just have it to have it. And uh, it's been great for us. Uh, the only thing is that um, I got into buying a home two years ago that and, you couldn't uh, afford. Excuse me. That you couldn't afford. Yes, sir. See, that's uh, where it, um, all my mistake was. Um, I didn't really do any research on it. I was just um, approached with the with the thing of buying a home. I was like, you know, it'll be a good move. You know, me and my wife and my daughter, we've been doing great. So um, I decided to go ahead for it. And um, now, you know, with the economy going down, it blew in my face. Right. So, um I was just wondering if you have any, uh, like, uh, any other information that you might uh, be able to help me with. Uh, well, you about. have to try and negotiate with your lender. Are you uh, late on your payments? No, no, no. Uh, that's one thing I've always been constant on, uh, making my oh. payments. And uh, the thing is that, yeah, obviously my home went down uh, a lot. As far as uh, I got the home for 451000 right now it's worth, I believe, 426000 so right. everything that I put into the house, uh, you know, in the long run, I guess I might get it when it goes up. But uh, right now, yes, I am a little bit shaky. Well, so. it's not going to go up for the next couple of years. I can tell you right now, it's just not going to. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, uh, if I were you, you're only down twenty five thousand dollars if if your numbers are accurate. Yeah. If yeah. you if you if I were you and you can get four twenty five of the house, I'd run. So uh, and, you're, and you yeah. know why that is because in addition to the cost of the upkeep of the house. You have to pay insurance. Yeah. Property taxes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Those uh-huh. are the killers. Uh, I imagine you have fire insurance, homeowners insurance. Maybe you have earthquake insurance. Probably not. Flood insurance. Probably not. The point is that uh, you're going to have to keep paying all of that while you wait to find for the uh, for the economy to improve, for the market to improve. Uh, can you really wait two, three, four years just to make back twenty five thousand dollars you lost? Well, see, that's the other thing, you know, I, we we don't never know, you know, I might something might happen to me tomorrow or my wife, and uh, we both work, so uh, we both put everything into the home and our kid. But, right. Yeah, you know, that is something. Well, whatever you, put in, whatever you put into improvements, that comes off the, uh, uh, well, there are no capital gains, but the point is when you um, write this off as a loss, um, you have to check with your accountant, but my understanding, and I'm not an accountant, is that everything you spent on real improvements to the house, renovations of any kind, uh, would uh, be added to the purchase price, and then you would write off that much of a loss when you sell. Okay. And uh, so you could take that loss at the very least, uh, not pay taxes for the next couple of years, it'll pay part of what you've lost. Okay. So in but other words, what uh, I would not recommend is if you're on the edge... See, here's the thing. If you're going to be there 5, 10, 15 years and you can handle it, I would say stick to your guns. Mm -hmm. But if you think that financially you're on the edge and things might crack, get out while you can. Okay. Now, of course, everything I'm telling you, you should run through your accountant and your attorney. Hopefully you have a real estate attorney who helped you close this deal. No, I didn't. Well, that's also a bad thing. You need to find one. Run it through a real estate attorney and your accountant, and okay. see um, and and see what they have to say. Personally, if I were down twenty five thousand dollars and I thought I was going to have problems in the future making the payments, I'd take the loss and run. Okay. Well, thanks a lot for your help, Tom. And um, you know what? I, there is some exceptions. There is some girls that are good out there. One that right, but that's like I say. Uh, yeah, I if know. everybody, if everybody jumped off of a sixteen-story building, oh no! And, but see, and, what, not, and not, one lived, that doesn't mean the other should be jumping. Exactly. Uh, well, thank you, Tom. And uh, can you blow me up? Of course, I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Nicole on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Great. 
You know, I'm just wondering about some of these attitudes you have with dating women. Which ones First are you all, talking about specifically? Well, you don't want to spend any money. I mean, I'm, I'm wondering, do you expect them to buy you drinks when you go out? No, I'll buy my own. And what, you expect them to go Dutch for them to buy their own too? Why not? And they actually put out for you? Yep. That must be a miracle. What do you look for? The by other? the way, what by the way, I do, I do say to guys, you can spend up to forty dollars, but that's it. Forty dollars. Wow, that's about an entree without a drink at a meal. No, there's no, there's no, no. We we skip dinner altogether. Oh, so what? We go straight to the bar. Here's what we do. Uh, we know, called you. Like I'm going to tell you. Do you want to hear? Do you want to hear? Do you, you at you met you asked a question? Do you want the answer? Yes or no? Sure. Uh, when we want to go out with you, we call you up and we say the following. What time are you having dinner tonight? What time are you having dinner tonight? I haven't decided yet. I just had a late lunch. All right. What, what time do you think you'll have dinner tonight? Not sure. When I get home. When's that? Changes. Tonight, approximately. Ballpark figure. Don't be a brick. You know, it really varies. Like I said, I just had a late lunch so I could get hungry. All right. Well, you ought to be done tonight by 10 o'clock. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick you up after dinner. We're going to go out and have a drink. Why would I want to go out and have a drink with you? Well, again, I'm looking, assumes, I'm looking for a guy that would buy me drinks if I would. Well, I, well, look, if you don't problem. like if you don't like me buying drinks, he's not going to change your opinion. Well, it helps some guys get lucky. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. You know what? Women only have sex with the guys they want to have sex with. And by buying you food or spending money on you is not going to change your opinion about having sex with me. So if you decide before I even ask you out that you don't want to have sex with me, uh, what's the point of buying you dinner? Why waste my time or money? I don't know. I mean, you might be able to change a lady's mind, but the way no, I No, you can't. No, you like can't. No, you can't. I've changed my mind a few times. So, in other words, there were men you were not attracted to, who merely by spending money on an entree got you to have sex with them, even though you weren't attracted to them. I could say that the attraction was there, but sexually the fulfillment wasn't there. Well, you wouldn't know that until you got into the sack with them. Well, maybe I had, and I decided not to have sex with them again. Oh, well, again. Uh, but, you know, you know what? Say, Women... Yeah, they You'd, you'd be well, amazed, darling. The there, there. You'd Every be amazed. Then you lay down and give them some. You'd be amazed how many women out there uh -huh. uh, will have will have sex with us without having uh -huh. to spend a penny. You'd be amazed. But you're saying it's because they like to be around men of influence that they don't want to have any influence or money. Not or just men of influence. Men of influence. Men with potential. Uh, men who have uh, 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 power. Uh, men who have money. But what, the, what good is your power and your money? Do you mean if I don't have any of it? Well, you don't. You never know how much you're going to get. And most women think they are going to get some. I don't tell women right up front. You know what? You're never getting any money. I don't tell them that. Well, why not? You know. Because uh, after I've had sex with them, they'll discover that. And then when they do, I'm going to say, well, I never promised you anything. And they're going to say, well, that's it. I'm not going to see you anymore. I'm going to say, fine, I'm tired of you anyway. I'm ready for a new victim. Well, I guess that's, and that's why it's the perfect crime. And I know it antagonizes women you, like you no end, but it really does work. Well, you know, that may work. It may work a few times, but enough women band together and say, hey, we're not going to have Watch your mouth. We're on the air, and talking dirty on the radio is not going to make your point any stronger. Okay. It's illegal, and we have your phone number, and we will turn it over to the authorities if you curse again. Okay. You understand that? Sure. Do not use curse words on the radio to try to make a point. Okay. And, well, and, and, and were you that stupid that you didn't know that words like that are not allowed on the air? I didn't think that the D word was exactly a, a swear it word. Is, it is, it is the way you used it. Okay. Do you understand well, that? Okay, so if you're stuck holding your um, male parts at the end of the night and always trying to get lost. I'm not. Get... And the reason I'm not is because, again, women use sex as a loss leader. Just the way uh, uh, Ralph's will sell six cans of Coca-Cola for 99 cents to get you to come in and pay $32 a pound for filet mignon. <laughs> Women will use sex like a six-pack of Coke uh, to get you in the door. And then eventually they hope to close the deal and get you to spend lots more. So what I do is I uh, take this six-pack of Coke for 99 cents 
And then once I'm in the door, I say, you know what? I don't think I need anything else. Thank you. Have a nice day. Well, then you're a smart shopper. I'm a smart shopper is right. I, hey, I've been a member of Ralph's Club for 15 years. Hey, that's credible, man. It's hard to find that one. I tell you, have you ever been to a Ralph's Club meeting? Uh, no, 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 I haven't. Great place to meet Jake, so I want to tell you. Uh, Michael, what did you want to say to Nicole? Yeah, Tom, th what this lady is describing is prostitution. Guy goes out, buys her dinner, and then she all of a sudden wants to have sex with him. She's a whore. That's prostitution. Not prostitution. Sure it is. What I take you out to dinner, I spend 100 bucks on dinner with you, then you'll sleep with me? That's prostitution. No, I'm not saying that then I will sleep with you. That's what you're saying. That sounds like what you're saying. I'm just saying most No, women, she still probably won't sleep with you. That's what she's saying. Women, she, I'm saying that most women ex expect a guy, if a guy's trying to impress a female, the women expect a guy to pay for things and to treat her like a lady. If she's not being treated like a lady, then first off, why would a woman ever even want about that? Most women these days are not ladies. Most women these days are whores, like he said. Okay, well, I don't know if you're looking for what you're looking for, then. That what I like to do, as like, it's like I always like to say, uh, I like going to the dealer and test driving the Ferrari mm -hmm. and running it through its paces and driving it 150 miles an hour up Pacific Coast Highway and back to the dealership. And then when the salesman says to me, what would it cost to get you to buy this car today? I say, let me think about it. Give me your card. Okay. That's what I do with women. Women think that uh, you're going to buy the car, so they let you drive it. Well, I'd want to have the title in my name. Otherwise, what good? Well, is but again, but darling, you are competing with women. What is your husband's name again? 30 years old. What is your husband's name? I don't have a husband. No, I'm not, not the least bit surprised. The point is that you are competing with women who will give a man the keys to the car for a night and then later try to get him to buy it. I would never give the guy, a guy a key. I, we're not talking about you. We're talking about women in general. Okay. Well, then maybe the, the girls... Your competitors, girls. your competitors in the marketplace out there are giving free test drives. Okay. Well, you can't... And, 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 and the smart men are not buying the car. They're just taking test drives. Okay. Well, I guess there should hopefully be some smart women out there that keep the keys to their car and... They don't. don't. Give anybody a test drive. They, they don't. Test drive, they'll tell them to go to the dealer. They don't. Hang on a second. Daniel, what did you want to say to Nicole? Hey, Tom, I think I saw this whore's uh, ad on MySpace earlier looking for an equally beneficial relationship. <laughs> She's the same type of bitch that I see on there all the time looking for a, for a daddy, looking for somebody to pay her way. She's just no, a whore. I don't I have a long as I see him. Blow me up, Tom, with a bong rip, buddy. Years. What was that, Nicole? I said, I've been independent and self-employed for 11 years. Thank you. Now, well, you have to be because no man will pay your bills. Well, why would I want him to? Well, you would want him to. If you if you could attract a man that would pay your bills, you'd love it. But since you can't get that, you know uh, what? you're I've forced to do it yourself. I've make a living off of men being attracted to me. Yeah, right. Okay. Every, every woman's a 10 on the telephone, darling. Thank you so much for the call. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I was in the shower, and I got out of the shower, and my wife was checking my cell phone. And I swear to God, for like the last week, every day I get home, she's like, What What number was this? What number was that? Who is this? Who is that? She's like, Who is, who is Kim? I feel like telling her, Hey, bitch, Kim's the girl I'm banging behind your back. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Arnold on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah. Uh, I've been listening to you for uh, a few weeks now, and you've been saying about uh, Likas 101, how when the professor talks, you guys out there better listen. Hello, Tom? I'm listening. Oh, and... Uh, so I, you know, I had no problems with what you're saying. Get all the tail you can, uh, make all the money and stuff. But then one day you said, this is like this 101, and you guys out there better listen because the professor is talking. And what I'm saying is absolutely right. Well, I've been a Christian for some years, and I decided to compare it to the Bible. 
because for three weeks I had no problem with what you're saying. And when it, I compared it to the Bible, it didn't stand up. There was one drawback. What, what would saying, make you think? What would make you think this has anything to do with the Bible? Well, I've been a Christian and I live by the Bible. Well, and guess I what? I, 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 I am an atheist. Good. Uh, there are many atheists and there are many Christians. But you, you saying on the radio that like us one on one is the way to go. Yes. And I had no problems with it for three weeks. But then one day you And said, I, I am the truth and the light. Right. You said that one day that you guys better listen because the professor is talking. That's right. Well, that's when I went to the Bible. I said, if Tom's saying this for three weeks and I have no problems with it, let me compare it to the Bible. And everything you say is true except there's one drawback. What you're telling the guys is fornication, and if they're married, it's adultery. And uh, first of all, I do not recommend that men commit adultery. I recommend yeah, I that know. people that men not get married. Yeah, I know. And therefore, they would they would never be having sex behind their wife's back because yeah, they wouldn't I have know. a wife. I know. I know you don't recommend adultery, but what you're telling the guys to do live the life of getting money and get all the tell you can. It sounds good, but if you compare it to the Bible, it's fornication. Well, we're in favor of fornication here. Of course, uh, the men listening did not need my advice uh, to be in favor of fornication. They were in favor long before I came along. Yeah. And Proverbs it says, stay with the wife of your youth. And in Matthew, what God has joined together, let no man break asunder. And that's why I'm saying don't get married. Then you won't be violating the even even your own principles. No, no. In Matthew, Jesus said, what man has, what God has brought together, don't break asunder. In other words, if two people come together in marriage, let nobody... That's why I'm up. telling the men not to get married. Well, that's not what Jesus said. In Matthew, Jesus said, what God has put together, let no man break asunder. Well, God does not put people together, okay? They put well, themselves Jesus, together. Jesus said that. And is Jesus alive? I really, I really don't care. Well, first of all, I'm not convinced there was a Jesus because I'm an atheist. Number one. Oh, okay. Number two, well, I'm I'll not. Tell you, there was a Jesus. Well, you have no proof of that. Well, that faith is knowing without seeing. Well, that's fine. That's why you're a, a faithful Christian and I'm an atheist because right. I, I don't well, have I was faith. Where you were. I was where you I were. I don't I care. Hey, well, uh, guess what? This is not sermonette. And no, we are not. We are not I, here. I if you want, you, I well, I'll tell you what. You you call your local Christian radio station and talk to them. This is not the place for that. Period. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Harry, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Um. I like your show, Tom. How are you? Great. Oh, uh, I had a question. If you had to grow up your daughter, and are you going to tell her the same things, you know, just go sleep with different guys? Are uh, you going to tell her that, you know... I, I, you, know, you have to understand something answer. about me. Let me finish, please. No, 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 no I, know, I already know what you're going to say, and I'm going to answer it right now. We're going to save some time here, okay? What's that? You have to, you have to understand uh, something about me before you make your statement. Yeah, uh, I am. I understand about you. Oh, oh, well, well, good. Then you're going to hear what I have to say, just in case the other listeners don't understand about me. And here's what it is. I don't have a daughter. Usually, I have other men's daughters. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand that. But how you're going to grow up, you're just going to tell her that if you go... Uh, did you hear what I just said? I will not be raising daughter, a daughter. I will not be raising... Her? I will not be raising any Are children. you going to tell her, you know... Eat did you hear what I just said? said? I'm not raising any goddamn children. Do you hear me? But I'm just thinking about... I am not theory. raising you're any awesome. children. Ever. Not now, not a month from now, not a year from now, not five years from now, not a decade from now, not a century from now. I am not raising any children. Come back home, never get married. What? I mean, that's how you're going to teach your daughter. If in case, uh, see, I don't I have, that, I don't I have that. a daughter. Okay, okay, listen to me, please. I believe that you did four times, you did four marriages, and you couldn't make either one. So you just start saying your oh, girls are bad. That's bad. I, I see. I yeah, see. And who arranged, by the way, who arranged your marriage, Harry? Was that? Who arranged your marriage? I'm not. I'm not. 
You're not married? You couldn't, you couldn't make your own marriage. So you, you you're not married? Together. Are you, you married? You Are you God. married? Yes or no? Are you married? Yes or no? No. Uh, why not? Because I didn't find a right girl or good girl. I wonder why that is. Why? I'll I said, please. I'm asking you, I wonder why. Uh, yeah, where are you from, Harry? I'm Harry, where are you India. from? Right. Uh, don't your parents arrange your marriage in India? Yeah, they did arrange marriages in India. But my question is why you got... Why, why, why couldn't you be... Not only could you not find a woman, even your parents... Even your parents couldn't find you a woman. Let me speak, please. Even your parents could not find you a woman. Okay, the thing is, if, if, if somebody make mistakes... You are incapable... You are incapable of finding a woman. You are incapable... All I know is that unlike you... Unlike you... Unlike you, I get laid on a regular basis. Doesn't matter. You did try four times. You couldn't make it. Well, you could sit home and uh, you can sit home and with pornography or whatever you sit home with and, and a no, vibrator. No, no, no. I, I am out getting that. laid. You are just in sex and you just you are like kind of man who cannot think anything else sex. But right, like most men. I think about that. I'm sure that you think about it too, but you, some men think you and some not, men do. You think about sex and you did try it four times and then you lose and now you're... I, I, I couldn't care less about trying marriage. I mean, Harry, I get laid. You I, can't... When's the last time you had sex, Harry? I don't want to tell you. That's my personal that thing. Is Come on, you're anonymous. How many years? How many years? How many years? How many years? How many years has it been since you got laid? That's not my question. Yeah, I, are you a virgin? I'll. Be, you're the 31 year old virgin. I'll bet. I mean, it's nothing to do with my question. I mean, you don't, I mean, I just don't uh, try to listen to you, but I, I understand that that's what I figured out, that you did try Because to you can't get laid, because you can't meet any girls. Like you around you. Because you can't meet any girls. No girls will go out with you. Nice Even your own parents can't introduce you to a nice girl. That's how bad it is. You get mad for that right now. For what? Are you mad? Are you mad? About what? That's what makes you mad? I'm not mad. Oh, you are not mad. Okay. I, yeah. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to know that your even your parents could not match you up with anybody. No, because I want to be successful first. Oh, I, you're I, 31. I, I own my good business. It's like you're 31 years old. old. When are you going to be successful, Harry? Uh, what do you mean by uh, when, baby? Maybe in one year. Uh, I think oh, I had enough to do with my everything. I can take care of wife. I can take care I of see. kids. I have my, yeah. I what see. Yes, sir. And what kind of, yeah, well, first you'll have to find a woman who will touch you, which I think is unlikely. Uh, now, Harry. You, why do you think so? Why do you, I mean, you just listened to me on the phone, and now you are telling <laughs> that I'm a bad guy because I said wrong about you? Let me uh, let me let's find out, oh, Michelle. Okay, yeah. Let me let me ask you a question, Michelle. Would in a million years would you go out with Harry? I'm just curious. Hell no. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't like that those kind of girls. I mean, but you don't know what kind of girl she is. You talk to her for two seconds. About her. You talk to her for two seconds. Yeah, I mean, I don't even want to go with her. She don't want to go with me, so that's fine. No, but you, you, you wouldn't go out with anybody, okay? Yeah, I mean, I you, you know I mean, what? Why are you, why are you trying to make me down? Yeah, yeah, can I tell I you mean, something, Harry? Anybody who has a vagina, I'm you can't, beggars can't be choosers. If a woman has a vagina, you at least should be talking to her. Yeah, I mean, I said hi to her. You, could, you remember. No, no, you don't understand. Like, you can't afford to say no to any woman. No. I, I will. You can't afford. You, do you understand what I'm saying? You can't afford to say no to any woman. You can't afford it. You cannot afford it. Do you? Do you, Do you understand that? Yeah, I understand. Why do you think so? Because you haven't gotten laid in years. I think you're a virgin. So what? If whatever you think, you're, you're the president of the United States. You are a virgin, aren't you? You've never. I'll bet you've never seen a woman naked. 
Okay, so you, whatever you say, you want to say that that's the right thing, right? You have never seen a woman naked, have you? How can you say that? Because you sound like a virgin. Oh, wow, man. You yeah, God, huh? How can you say that? Like, okay, how can When's you... When's the last time you got laid? When is the last time you got laid, Harry? Wow. When is the last time you got laid? <laughs> why do I tell you my personal thing? Well, there's nothing to tell. That's why you won't tell me, because you have nothing to tell me. You are not making the point. You, are, you have you never are, had sex, you have you? You, you have never. You've never had an orgasm with someone else in the room at the same time, have you? How can you say that? You don't know me. You never. Because your voice gets higher every time I say it. You too. When I said that you tried four times and you couldn't make it. You have never. Listen carefully. You have never ever had sex, have you? Ever? I mean, what? What do you want to make the point? I'm just saying, you know what? Guys love to brag about when they get laid. And that's how I know you've never had sex. Because, you know, guys would lie and say, I got laid this morning. You can't even my lie. Question. My question you is you can't you even lie to me. You can't find a woman. Your parents can't find you. Can't even get an arranged marriage. And now, now it's obvious you are a virgin. You can't even get laid. You can't, you've never had sex, have you? Man, you don't talk on the point. You've never had sex, have you? The thing is, my question is how you are going to raise, raise a girl. I'm not. Okay. okay. In case you have... I'm going to have sex with your sister. That's what I'm going to do. What's that? I'm going to have sex with your sister. Man, you cannot say that on air. I can sue you for that. D don't I think mean, I wouldn't. So mad. Don't think I wouldn't. I mean, I, I'm not going to say you I'm going to... I could nail your you sister know. six ways from Sunday. I, I, I'm not mad. Everything going is right. You know? What does your sister you look like? What's her name? I'm Tell me about your sister. I want to know. I have no answer. I, the, no. Those Indian no. girls always have nice I'm knockers. What does your sister look like? See, it's not the point. The point Come on. Point Just is, tell me what she looks like. I mean, you're mad. I mean, I'm feeling like now I'm not I'm mad. I'm, I'm getting man. I'm getting ready. You're going to hook me up with your sister. How about and your sister's you gotten laid? Fight with me or try to, uh, you know, make me... Uh, Harry, uh, I know if a woman needed a... Harry, Harry. That's not... I'm Harry. the intelligent guy that Harry. you. Harry, now, look. I know if a woman needed to borrow $10,000, it's fine. I know, I know if a woman needed a cherry Slurpee and a lotto ticket, you'd be the man to call. But hey. You keep talking. You keep talking. I, you, I, I keep talking. You never shut up. Okay. Now start. How does your sister look in a bathing suit? See? Man, I'm, I feel like I'm talking with... Un How does your sister look out of a bathing suit? I mean, I couldn't feel like talk with you. Sorry, I'm going to hang up. No, no, don't do that. Hey, hang on a second. Let me get Jay on here. Jay, what did you want to say to Harry? Oh! Harry, Harry ha what the hell is your problem, man? Get off the damn phone. He you hung up. Indians, you are making Indians look so bad right now. This is ridiculous. <laughs> You sound like I can't even understand you. You sound like you have marbles in your mouth. Get off the damn... And an IRQ conflict? I didn't even get to ask him about that, for God's sake. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I just started listening to you yesterday, man. What is the most important thing that you've learned here so far? That I ain't got to take no girl out to dinner to get some. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom like your show at 1-800-5-800-TOM. This is Sean on the Tom Like your show. Hey. Hey, Tom. How you doing? You busy over there? Uh, not really. Not a whole lot. Just, uh... Sure aren't taking your sweet time about talking to me. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in a pickle, sir. I uh, I got married at 19. Uh, I was born and raised in Hawaii, so I'd never heard of the Tom Liker show before. I uh, got married to a girl that I thought was really cool. Everything was good for about six to eight months. And then she flipped on the crazy switch. Uh, through a fight, we both ended up in jail. Um, and now she's pregnant. 
about doing about two months. I can't stand her, but I don't want to leave. By the way, son. how long? How long after you were in jail did you impregnate this woman? Um, actually, it was she was already pregnant by the time we got to by the time we ended up in jail. I see. And uh, you were using what uh, birth control there, Sean? Uh, she was actually on the pill. Right. That's what she told you. And what well, were you using? Nothing, right? Uh, just yeah, just the pill. Yeah, good move. Yeah, well. Like she said, you know, I take it every day, and I trusted her like a big... By the way, yeah, and by the way, she was crazy before you ever went to jail. Of course, yeah. No, and I, you know I, it. I'm slowly figuring that out now. And you knew it, and you, she was crazy before you got her pregnant, too, right? Right. But you got her pregnant anyway. Yeah. When you knew she was crazy, why did you continue having sex with her? Um... Well, I I hadn't quite figured out the scope of the craziness yet. Well, uh, what 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 level of crazy is acceptable? <laughs> very very good point. Um, well, I mean, I I had a pretty rough childhood, you know, and I consider myself a little nuts too. So I just figured, you know, I'll so you figure that's all you're entitled to is crazy people. Well, that's yeah, pretty much, basically, yeah. I, I guess I guess you could say that. Right. So, what my question is for you, sir, is she's. Like I said, the baby's due in, in in two months, and I can't. I I have no I have no feelings towards her anymore. I mean, there's not even really a sexual draw anymore. I I would love to leave her, but my situation is, I don't want to leave my kid hanging without a dad. You know, and because that's what happened to me. My dad left when you know when I was like four, and I hadn't spoken to him since, and that was a rough childhood. Don't you think the time to think about that uh, was when you realized you were having sex with a crazy person without a condom? Don't you think that would have been the time to think about that? So that would have been a great time, but I, like I said, I, I hadn't realized the craziness yet. I, she seemed like a good girl, and no, you had realized. You had already admitted to me you knew she was crazy. Well, right, like, but like I said, I mean, she, you know, a little bit of crazy, big crazy. I hadn't realized that she was uh -huh. huge crazy. Mm -hmm. So, is there anything that I could do now? I mean, uh, I, I would love to just. You well, because of your bad judgment, you now have to pay. That means you get out and you hope for the best. Now you have a crazy person who's going to raise your child, and you did it to yourself. It's your fault. Take responsibility for it. Okay. You did it. Yeah. No. Okay. You. That's Definitely By the way, crazy. she may be crazy, but if you're not crazy, that's even worse. Because that means you have responsibility for this. You did this. Right. All right. Well, that's that's what I thought I was afraid to hear, but I guess I just needed to hear someone else say it. So. Well, it, you why, why wouldn't you want to take responsibility for your actions? You did this. No, I mean, I, I do. I, I want to be there for my son. You know, like I'm, I'm not talking way, about you know. that. You created a child with a crazy person. Right. So you're just saying stick it out with her and just deal with... No, I'm not. I'm saying you should get out and do the best you can, knowing that your ch your child will be raised by a crazy mother and you chose her. Yes, I did. You did it. Yes, I did. Okay, well... But, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted to hear, but I, I guess I needed to hear it, though. So. What did you want to hear? Everything's great? Yeah, no, you know, I, I get it. I just kind of want to be BS, you know. That's why I was on my last leg hoping that someone would... Why would you me. call me for BS? Call, you know, no, call... I, you know, I know, I know, I, I know, I just... Call I, your mother <laughs> if you want BS. No, she'll, she'll tell me the same thing. Well, that should tell you something, son. Uh, oh, man. All right, so I guess I'll just stick it out then and... Roll with the punches from now on. That's all you can do. Yeah, I I thought that's what it was, but all right. Well, well, thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. I'm here to help. I don't get guys like that. I just don't understand it. You know, they they call in here like hoping to get some encouragement. You have sex with a crazy. You, first of all, you get married at too young an age. You have sex with a person you know to be crazy. You're shocked when she gets pregnant. And then you're worried about uh, how she's going to be raising that child. I mean, I don't get it. Our email address, tom at blowmeuptom.com. It's the Tom Likas Show.